Cal, you've been here for a few days now. There's a quite a positive buzz coming from the players this week. How, how have you settled back into the club? Well, I must say it was like a homecoming. So uh, from the first minute at the training ground, I really had a warm welcome from the people and uh, I must say I really appreciate it. So last week we, we had individual chats with every one of the players and everyone amongst, amongst the first team. And there we had some red wires which we, we worked with. And um, yeah, together with training sessions this week and the preparation of the Middlesbrough game, I must say it has been a quite intense week. You had a, a positive experience alongside Jose Riga here previously. Was it an easy decision to take up this challenge? Of course. I think uh, once you've been here, it's impossible not to love the club. And I can uh, still can see the images about the Watford game, the ones that uh, took us up. And i never forget the, the, the Sordell's hat-trick in, uh, in Sheffield. So it would be nice to play Sheffield again uh, next week. And that'll be your first home game as well, so it'd be nice to come back to the Valley. I hope, I really hope, and uh, as you mentioned, it, it's, a, it's a challenge, but it is absolutely a challenge with uh, hard games going up. So, so we play Middlesbrough on Saturday, which is a good side, and then uh, an away trip to MK Dons, and uh, I've heard the Sheffield game is a massive one, so we'll be ready. There's been talk of an extremely positive first meeting with the players on Monday afternoon when you first arrived back at the training ground. Are you able to share what message you gave to them? Well, it's still a private staff players meeting, but I've been following the championship ever since I, I went back to Belgium. And um, especially the Charlton games, I think I've seen them all. So I, I try to share my ideas about this season, the problems that we have seen. And we try to give them some solutions. And based on what I've seen this week on the training sessions and the chats with the players, I think they're willing to, to, to pick it up. And uh, the most important thing is that we have to become a tough team again, tough to beat. That's the first thing. And this is one of the toughest championships in the world, physically. And we, we have to bring it back to that. We must be tough to beat. And um, they're all good players. We really have a good side. That's also the thing I've heard from every player. They all think we are a good side, mm. but um, I've heard Simon uh, retook the words. I really believe a smiling player, and when they feel good, when they feel confident, I think then we will become a tough team to beat and we will get some wins. We've learned that Jason Newell will be helping you out on the touchline as the first team coach. Uh, how important will his experience and knowledge of Charlton and this club be towards your job that has to be done? Massive, massive, because um, two years ago I worked with him. I really had a good relationship with Jason and we respected each other. So um, I came in on Monday, but he was away with the under 21s game at Cardiff. So we spoke on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. And he was very positive about uh, the cooperation. And he was already involved in the Tuesday sessions. And then he took his decision on Wednesday. But um, he wanted to say this to his own players on, on, on Thursday, today. Um, and I'm very proud that the, the most expensive player, I thought it was 4.5 million in Charlton's history, uh, is, in, is in my staff. So I'm very, very proud of it and I uh, really look forward to work with him. And obviously Vim de Court as well is, is helping out someone you know and uh, someone you trust is coming. Uh, he'll exactly. obviously be a, a good confidant for you. Yes, as you know, I'm Belgian. So um, working abroad, and you really need someone you have confidence in. And Wim is very experienced. He has been a caretaking manager sometimes uh, for two clubs, uh, First Division Belgium, and worked along three or four coaches as an assistant at First Division. And we know each other for a long time, and I really have confident, uh, confidence in his uh, qualities. We head to Middlesbrough on Saturday, who we all know are a very good side and will provide a, us with a good challenge, and you a very good first challenge as interim head coach. How... Are you prepared for that game on Saturday? Well, Middlesbrough indeed is a, is a, is a good side. So uh, they just played for the Cup yesterday and did a good performance. So they got a good confidence win. But they also had 120 minutes. Anyway, we know the team. It's a very consistent team. A lot of players playing all games. Um, some of them were on the bench yesterday. Like Fabrini uh, was on the bench. Nugent was on the bench. So we expect them back in the team. 
to play us on Saturday. And first, we can never master the opponent, but we might have the idea how they're going to play. But more important is how we are going to perform on Saturday. So these ideas we've been putting on the training sessions. So um, I cannot say too much about it, but we, we will be very well prepared. And the changes we made into the team, some, some players are struggling and fighting to get back into the squad, getting to back to be fit again. So um, I cannot say too much about, but I hope traveling supporters will, will see the team we would like to see and everybody would like to see like uh, a tough Charlton team. Finally, uh, what will be the key in these next few weeks to turn our fortunes around? Well, we've got three games, difficult games coming up, so it's very important that we grab up some points uh, before the international break. And we will work very hard off and on off the pitch um, to become the side we want to be. And it's obvious we need some positives and let's all hope that we can get a win as fast as possible, but that's been a while. And one thing, I am fully aware of the controversy, but I can only ask the crowd and the supporters to back the players because they really need their oxygen to perform. They really need that. So that's the only question I have. Oh, my God.